Hello guys, good evening. Good evening teacher. How are you? Hi, thank you. Mm, that's great. <laughs> How was your weekend? Relaxing, busy, hiding. <laughs> Relaxing. Relaxing. <laughs> no working. Oh, great. <laughs> Well, I'm happy that you had a good weekend. Okay, Thank you. so I'm going to share with you in this moment uh, the topic of today's class, uh, this evening's class. The topic is expressing preferences, comparison with adjectives. So we're going to uh, continue with this topic because it's very important that you understand it well. And well, it's the class number seven. Can you imagine to the next class will be the second part of the or the middle of the course. Wow. Well, lesson objectives. We have two. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to use demonstrative pronouns, which are these, these, that, those, to express possible choices. And by the end of the lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Okay, we have four activities. Uh, Claudia Maria, would you like to read the uh, activities, please? Uh, agenda. Activity one, demonstrative one, one. Activity two, which one do you prefer? Activity three, why reading my favorite clothes. Activity four, wrap up. Thank you so much, Cloud. Okay, so those are the topics. And now it's time to take attendance. So please say present or here when I mention your name. And as you receive information today, it's very important that you keep your camera on, okay? You turn on your camera, especially when I take the attendance. You should always have it on, but it's especially when, um, when um, I take the attendance, okay? So I start with Alejandro Jovel Cartagena. Ana Elizabeth García Rivas. Andrea Sánchez Aguilar. Betania López Iraeta. Present. Thank you, Betania. Braulio Heriberto Velázquez Mejía. Carlos Alberto Martínez. Present. Ah, oh, Braulio. <laughs> ok. Um, Claud Carlos Alberto Martínez nos escucha. Allí lo veo, pero creo que se congeló. It's frozen. <ríe> Carlos Martínez. Ok. Claudia María García. Present teacher. Okay. Claudia Yesenia Ébora. Christopher Raúl Peña. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Damaris Castellano. Denis Gutiérrez. Doribel Arriaza. Present, teacher. Thank you, Doribel. Elise Sandoval. Present. Ok. Emmanuel Portales. Eneida Verónica. Eric Daniel Herrera. Present. Thank you, Eric. Fernando Mendoza. Irma Adriana Segura. <coughs> Irma Zuleima Grande. Present, teacher. Okay. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño. Present teacher. Jacqueline Janet Rosibel Rivas de Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Jennifer Marisol Iraeta. Present teacher. 
Okay, Jennifer. Jessica Susana Manchan. Present teacher. Okay. Jimmy Jonathan Ramos. And I will mention again the people who have just, who have just connected. Alejandro, <clears throat> Ana Garcia, Andrea Sánchez, Claudia Yesenia Ebre, Damaris Isabel Castellanos, Emanuel Portales, Eneida Verónica, Alejandro, quizás tiene problemas. ¿Alguien le puede escribir a Alejandro? Dice que no me escucha, pero los demás sí, ¿verdad? Yes, Fernando yes, yes, Mendoza. Yes, yes. Irma Segura. Ok, thank you, Jennifer Marisol. Ok, very nice. Very nice. Thank you for sharing. Oh, thank you for being on time. <laughs> for punctuality and joining the class. Ok, so let's start with the... The first activity, demonstrative. What are demonstratives? Are the words that we use to express when we have something near or we have something far in distance? We can use it in singular or in plural. For example, in singular, we have the example, this is an apple and I have it near in my hands i can touch it right but if the apple is far i say that that is an apple i cannot touch it far far away in plural we say these are apples these are red and green apples Plural, but far, far, far in distance. We say those, those are apples. Mm -hmm. Those are apples. Okay, so we say this is, that is, these are, and those are. Can you tell me what is the difference? In pronunciation between this and this. Teacher, eso es lo que yo no entendía porque era this si era singular y that si era también singular. ¿Sabes? Es el alejamiento. Exactly. This es que está cerca. Lo puedo tocar. Uy, sorry, sorry. Y that es que está lejos. Entonces, this es para here, aquí, here. And that over there, allá, over there. Igual en plural, this, cerca, those, que están lejos, esos. Estos, esto, o este, o esta, eso, o esa. Hoy sí lo comprende, Irma. Yes, teacher. Oh, muy bien. Ok. Ahora vamos a ver este de how much is this and how much is that. Ok. In singular we can say how much is this necklace? This one? Because it's near, it's nearby, está cerca. Lejos decimos, how much is that necklace? That one? Which one? The blue one. Ok, podemos usar el one, which one, para decir cuál. Hay varios, entonces yo pregunto, which one? Y puedo decir the blue one. Y el precio se responde con it. X forty-two dollars the price, the cost. In plural we have how much are, 
How much are these rings? This one. ¿Cuánto valen estos aritos? Eh, es, estos aritos? Estos. Uh -huh. How much are those earrings? Those ones. ¿Cuánto valen estos aritos? Esos. Which ones? ¿Cuáles? The yellow ones. Los amarillos. The yellow ones. Because it's plural, we answer their. Their 18 dollars. <clears throat> okay, do you have any questions with this? So far, so good? No question, teacher. Okay, Braulio. No questions. <laughs> okay, thank you. Next. We have, a, we have these conversations in, in which we are going to practice. Ya les lo, lo vamos a hacer online, so I will share with you. Sorry, it's not this. Excuse me, this one. Okay, in these conversations, we have to use the words in the box. But look at the picture and tell me. Who is the salesperson? Is she or she? Is she the salesperson or the client, the customer? Mm -hmm. The person the, is the salesperson. She is the salesperson, right? The Asian girl is the salesperson and she is the client. Okay, so she's touching the jeans. <clears throat> the, the, I think it's black or dark blue, but she is not. The client is not touching the jeans. According to that, Let's complete the conversation. Excuse me, how much are those? Those. Yes. How much are those jeans? Which one? Which one? One. Jeans. It's plural because we jeans, mm -hmm. shorts, shoes, sandals, gloves, glasses, mm -hmm. earrings, because they come in pairs. They come in pairs. We have two eyes, two ears, two, two hands, two legs, two feet. So that's why those things are plural. So how much are those jeans? Those because she's not touching. Están lejos de ella. No los, puede, no los está tocando. Which ones do you mean? The blue ones. Uh, we have to use. Mm, no, no one. El, que para decir. ¿Quieres decir estos? Porque está, ella los está tocando. Ella sí los tiene cerca. Do you this? Do you mean this? This. En plural es un poquito más largo en pronunciación. This. No, the light blue. That. That. Aquí lo vamos a. Once. Once, porque es plural. No, the light blue one. Oh. Y le dice, no, lo celeste, claro. O oh, le dice ella, dos, dos, esos. Dos are nine, <coughs> Wow, that's a thing. Okay, conversation two. He's the client. And she's.
Who is she? Is it? This person. This person. How much is this? this. Backpack. Back. ¿Quién, en, ¿quién no. empieza? Empieza él. Él está preguntando no. cuánto cuesta. Ah, dos backpack. ¿Cuántas son? ¿Por cuántas está preguntando? ¿Por una o por dos? Okay. Por dos, por una. Por una, entonces va a ser One. singular, ok. Is this. Ah, ¿la está tocando o está lejos de él? Touch. He's está touching it. Pero él, ella le pregunta which one y él le dice the orange. orange. The orange one. Is that, how much is that? Is that? Is that? La está señalando. How much is his pointing? He's pointing at that one, at the orange one. How much is that backpack? Which one? The orange one. It's. Uh -huh. But it's uh thirty six ninety nine, right? Uh -huh. But it's thirty six ninety nine, but it's that green. That the green. green. Juan. This green. this green one. Esta verde. This green one. It's only 22. Okay. That's not bad. Can I see it, please? Okay. A ver, ¿quién le gustaría hacer las conversaciones? Conversation one. My teacher. Okay, teacher. Alejandro and and Braulio. Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Braul, ¿cuál va, cuál va a querer? Braulio el uno, el A o el B? El B está bien. Va. Excuse me, how much are those jeans? Which ones do you mean this? No, the light blue ones. Oh, those are 59.95. Whoa, that's expensive. Thank you, Alejandro Braulio. Second conversation. Two volunteers. Uh -huh. only, only two volunteers. Okay, Jacqueline, Rebecca. And, okay, I, I don't see. <laughs> okay, and Carlos Martinez. Carlos, okay. you start, Carlos. Okay. How much is that the cup? Which one? Yeah, it's one. It's thirty-six dollars. Casi no se la escucha. Carlos, casi no se la escucha. But the screen. Se puede hablar más fuertecito. The screen one. But the screen one is only twenty-two. Twenty-two dollars and twenty-five cents. No, se corta, se corta. Carlos.
Bueno, tal vez le puede ayudar Doribel entonces. Doribel y Jacqueline. Empieza Jacqueline. Ok. How much is that backpack? Doribel. Sorry. Tenía el audio apagado. Uh, which one? The orange one. It's thirty, thirty six, ninety, nine, nine, nine. But um, it's only two. Twenty-two, twenty-five. That's not bad. Can I see it, please? Okay, thank you so much for your participation, both uh, the four of you, the five of you. <laughs> okay, we check the answers and wow, you did it excellent. Excellent. Ten out of teacher. Teacher, sorry, eh, una, una pregunta. Eh, cuando se está en conversaciones y son cantidades así como esta de 59.95, ¿se dice con punto o solamente se lee la cantidad? No se dice el punto. We say 59.95. Si hace una pausa, 59.95. Or 59 with 95 cents. 36, okay. 99, or 36 with 99 cents. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay, the next exercise, you have to choose the correct words. Uh -huh. Excuse me, how much? In this case, is this, right? How much are these shoes? These. X or there? 279. It. It. The shoes it. are singular or plural? Plural. Plural, there. There, there. Excuse me, how much are these shoes? Teacher, para que me había dicho que ir se ocupaba para el dinero. Sorry. Es que yo le comprendí de cuando estaba explicando al principio que ir se utilizaba cuando cuando iba a decir una cantidad de dinero. En, en singular, cuando es singular. Mire. Ah, okay. En singular. O sea que si, o sea que si es, es plural, digamos, la pregunta en la respuesta también, también sería plural. plural. Sí, there. Mm. There. Pero está bien sí. que pregunten y que no se queden con la duda. Bueno. Ok, <ríe> let's go back. Ok, next. How much and how much is this or that back over there? This. this. Over there. That, that. Ah, ¿en cuánto vale esta? O este bolso que está allá. Este bolso allá. How much is that back over there? Ok. So you say it's or there. It's, it's only it's only one hundred twenty nine exactly and are the two great one or one ones ones ah because it's not right two and they are two are the two great ones one hundred twenty nine two no. Those are only one hundred nineteen nine. No, 
Those are the only 119. Those are the only 119. <laughs> oh. oh. This is totally. This store is really expensive. Yeah. Okay, Can come I with help you? Too. Can I help you? Yes. I really like those over there. Like, exactly. Ah, those no. beans over there. How the much? Beans over there. How much are they? How much are they? Uh, are they? It. Which, which ones? ones? Which ones? Do you mean? Do you mean this? No, the black bad ones. Mm hmm. Let me look. Oh, that's me. Oh, they, they're there. That's not bad. 35, no bad. 99. 35, 99. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, how, how much, much is here? Sweater here. These this, are that. Is this? This, this sweater here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eggs are there. It's, it's, it's only? Only nine. Nine, nine with nine and nine. nine. Ten. Yeah. Wow, people. You got it. Excellent. Great. Yeah. Okay, very good, very good. So let's go back to the presentation. Can you see my presentation? Yeah, no? No ven mi pantalla. <laughs> La presentación, ven el ejercicio, vea. Sí. Okay, I need the presentation in here. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so how to use one and one? One singular? One plural. Sí, uno, uno. Okay, we can use the article the plus the adjective plus one or one. Example, I would like to try it on a jacket. Which one? The green one. Me gustaría probarme una chaqueta. ¿Cuál? La verde. ¿Mm? What are my shoes? Which one? The black one. ¿Dónde están mis zapatos? ¿Cuáles? Los negros. Do you like these shoes? Not really. I prefer the other one. ¿Te gustan estos zapatos? No, prefiero los otros. So this is the one, the, this is how we use one in one. Gr what is the adjective in this sentence? The green one. Green. Adjective is green. Green. Exactly. The colors. The colors are adjectives. Green, black, Bar red, pink, yellow. But we can also use here other adjectives. For example, we can say the big one, the small one, the new one, the old ones, the pretty ones, the expensive ones. The cheap one, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions about this? Or do you, so far so good? So far so good? So far so good. Okay, that's great. So now we have a conversation between Anne and Sue. I would like to volunteer to read the conversation. Two different volunteers. Okay, Irma Suleima Grant. Okay. And who is the other? And Anna Elizabeth. Okay, Irma and Anna. Go ahead, please. Um, it's me, Anna. Yes, Irma, you start. Okay. 
Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wall one better. The wall one, why? It looks warmer. Well, I like I like to leather one web better. It's more is is stylish. That's the wall one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me. How much is the is this jacket? It. No, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's for in. Four hundred ninety nine. Four hundred ninety nine. Como, perdón? Four hundred. Ah, four hundred ninety nine. Mm -hmm. well, do you like to try it on? Oh no, that's okay, but that thanks anyway. You're welcome. Thank you, Ana. It was Leiva. Thank you so much for your participation. Okay, let's analyze the conversation. Um, how many jackets are they comparing? Two jackets. Only two, exactly. So they are using comparative adjectives, for example. Can you see the adjective? The comparative adjective? Mm -hmm. Better is one. Another comparative Better. adjective. Mm. More stylish. Ah, yes. More stylish. Warmer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, as I ask you, the uh, they are using comparative adjectives because they are comparing only two things. They use comparative adjectives with two objects, only two. Okay? So, the black one and the wool one, leather and wool, different material. So, she's asking, which one do you prefer? ¿Cuál prefieres? Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. Aquí está diciendo, me gusta más, o oh, ajá, me gusta mejor la de lana. Me gusta más la de lana. Le dice la de lana, ¿por qué? Because it looks warmer, se mira más calientita. And says, well, I like the leather one better. A mí me gusta más, le dice, la de cuero. It's more stylish than the wool one. Tiene más estilo. Ok. So they are asking, or they are comparing the two jackets, and they are using, in that way, they are using comparatives. Now in the next conversation, we have more examples. To express preferences and comparisons with comparative adjectives. So we need three volunteers to read the question and the answers. Volunteer number one, Los que, los que querían participar. Ok, yes. Susana, number one. Number two, ¿quién dijo yo? My teacher. Ok, Alejandro, the second one and the last one. Janet Rosivea, ¿le gustaría leer la última? Would you like to read the last one? La última, the last one. <laughs> okay. We, the spelling. We start with uh, Susana. Okay. Which dress do you prefer? I prefer the blue one. It's nicer than the black one. Excellent. Thank you, Alejandro. Uh, which one do you like more? I like the blue one more. It's lighter than the black one. Thank you. Good job. And the next, Priscilla? Uh, I like the black. 
one bell. Is more still in that with the blue one? And the question? Ah, sorry. Which one do you like better? Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, people. So this question is asking for preference. Which dress do you prefer? I prefer the blue one. It's nicer than the black. Which one do you like more? ¿Cuál te gusta más? Which one do you like more? I like the blue one more. It's lighter than the black. Which one do you like better? ¿Cuál te gusta mejor o más? I like the black one better. More stylish than the blue. Y como aprendimos en la última clase, the comparative eh, structure, we add ER, tip, cheaper, nice, nicer, big, bigger, pretty, prettier, right? And we learned that we have consonant, vowel, consonant, we double the last consonant. And when it ends in Y, we add I, E, R, and we delete Y. So, <clears throat> let's write some questions. Let's <clears throat> ask our classmates about um, their preferences. So, we're going to ask some interesting questions. I'm going to write some examples, and later you can... Uh, answer yours. Can you see my screen? ¿Se pueden ver mi pantalla? Ya está hecho. ¿Dónde estoy, ¿Dónde estoy escribiendo? Sí, ok. Yes. yes. So my question is which uh, which color do you prefer? Which color do you prefer? White or black? Uh -huh. <laughs> and you can say, you answer, I prefer black. Why? Because it's more elegant. It's just an example, right? Which pet do you like more? Cat? Or dogs? I like cats more. Why? Because they are, they're more um, independent. <laughs> That's why I like my cat because it's very independent. Another question. Which one? Teacher, I have a question. Yes? In the last sentence, you put dates more. No, no ah, they are. I'm sorry, yes, you're. Thank you, thank oh. you. They are more independent. <laughs> okay, okay. me sentí confundida. I'm sorry. No, thank you. Thank you for telling me. I error de mi dedo. No me había fijado. Okay. Which one do you like better? Uh, tacos or pizza? You can say, um, it's difficult, but I like tacos better. Why? They're more delicious. Or they are healthier. Entonces estamos usando comparativos. ¿Mm? Más elegante, más independiente, más saludable. Uh -huh. Ahora escriban sus preguntas y todos contestamos en el chat. Ok, por ejemplo, which do you prefer? The hot weather or the cold weather? Uh -huh. 
So let's please write, let's write our, your own questions in the chat via Zoom, please. Okay, you, Jessica, Susana prefers the cold weather. Why? Which do you prefer, the city or the farm? Mm, I prefer the farm. Life is, life is better. Life is more peaceful. <laughs> mm -hmm. More questions. Okay, Irma, I like the cold weather in the morning. Okay, any other question? Which do you prefer, coffee or milk? You like milk. <laughs> you prefer milk. I prefer coffee. <laughs> Which do you prefer, Coca-Cola or Pepsi? I prefer Coca-Cola. You I prefer Coca-Cola? Coca <laughs> Which do you prefer? But why? Escriban por qué? Why? It's more delicious, it's cheaper. It's because heaven could pay you more. It's more, it's tastier, sabe mejor? Tastes better than... Tastier. Exactly, tastes better. Excellent. Para contestar, usamos because. Sorry to be late. Don't worry. I think um, the Pepsi is more. Is I don't know how to say Pepsi is sweeter. Muy azucarado, ¿cómo lo diría? Ah, es sweeter, es más, es más dulce. It's sweeter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sleeping is not a hobby, Eli. <laughs> okay. Okay, try to answer with using comparison. Okay, so well, guys, now we are going to continue working with the comparative. Um, this was homework, but I don't know if you did it um, because you were sending me the other homework. But um, we are going to, in this moment, check out this database here. In a moment, you will see it. Okay, so first we're going to write the comparative. Okay, what is the comparative form of John? You remember the rules? We studied that we add ER, we drop the Y and add ER, we double the last consonant for consonant vowel consonant, two or more syllables, we, we add more irregular forms, we memorize. Okay, what is the comparative of John? John, younger. Younger. Okay. Boring. More. More. 
boring. Boring. Easy. Easiest. Easier. 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 Interesting. More interesting. More interesting. More, more interesting. More interesting. Hot. 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 Double T? Or Double not? T. Double T. Talkative. More talkative. More talkative. Sad. Sad. Sadder. And we double the D. Sadder. Okay. Shy. Shyder. Shyer. Friendly. 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 Friendlier. 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 Newer. 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 Confident? confident. More confident. More confident. confident. Quiet? Quieter. It could be quieter or it could be more quiet. More quiet. Mm -hmm. Both are correct. Mm -hmm. More famous. More famous. More famous. More famous. Strong? Stronger. 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 Important. More important. More, more important. important. Dirty. More important. Dirtier. 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 Shorter. 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 And brave. Brave. Braver. 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 Now let's choose the correct form. Um, more hardworking than my sister. I'm hard worker than my sister. Or I'm hard working than my sister. Hard worker. More hard working. More hard work. Hard hard work. I'm more hard working than my sister. Soy más trabajadora que Trabajador. mi sister. Mm -hmm. Elephants are more big, bigger with double G, or bigger mm -hmm. with one. Bigger. More bigger. More big? Bigger. 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 Elephants are bigger with double than G. horses. Cars are more fast, yeah. faster with double T, or faster, faster. than bike. Faster. Faster double T. With double T or with one T? One T. One T. Only one. Why? Because this is consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant. So we don't need to add another. Jets are more expensive, expensive or expensive than cheap. Expensive. More, more expensive. expensive. It's long adjective. More expensive. expensive. My dad is serious than my mom. More serious or serious than my mom? Mm. Serious. Serious. We are comparing. He is more serious. More serious. Than my mom. Comics are more funny than magazines, funnier or funnier? Funnier? Funnier. My aunt is more intelligent than my uncle, intelligent or intelligent -er than my uncle? More intelligent. More intelligent. More intelligent. Okay. My friend is more brave than me, braver than me, or bravier than me? Braver. Braver. Exactly, braver than me. And what is the meaning of brave? It's not bravo. Valiant. 
No van a pensar valiente. que mi amigo es más bravo que yo. No, yo soy más valiente. My, my friend is braver than me. Okay? I get up more early than my brother. Earlier. Earlier. This or this? Earlier. The last one. Is the last one. Yes, the last one. Math is <laughs> more difficult, difficult or difficult than this. Mm -hmm. difficult. More difficult. More difficult. More difficult. Finished. Check answer. Bye, bye, bye. Hey, excellent. You got a 10. Great job, people. <laughs> so, is this difficult or easy? A piece of cake. <laughs> okay, so now um, okay in the in the class we have um, this conversation and I think we have some minutes to complete them to complete the conversation. Okay, for example, the number one, a quien le gustaría leerlo y completarlo. Los que tienen la cámara apagada, le voy a preguntar. <risa> ¿Christopher Raúl? The first one. Yes. Which of this jacket do you like more? I prefer the little one. The design is nicer uh -huh. and it looks more expensive to wool one. Than, more expensive than the wool one. Than, Very good than. Yes. Yes, so we have to remember to add than, more expensive than. Excellent, Jimmy. Okay. Another person with no camera. Christopher, I said, e. who is saying me? No, no sé quién dijo me. <laughs> Alejandro, you want to do the second one? Okay, go ahead. These sweater are nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the great one better. The color is pretty. Prettier. Prettier, prettier. It's more attractive, the brown and yellow one. Yes, it's more attractive than. Than. Yes, than the brown, brown and the yellow one. Yes, thank you, Alejandro. Okay, and the last conversation. Betania. What? <laughs> the the third. Yes, please. please. Okay. Which rings do you like better? I like the silver ones more. They they uh, smaller or the most small? No, smaller. And smaller, the old ones. Smaller than. And they. Smaller than they are smaller than um, they are smaller okay. than ah okay they smaller than the world ones and they are cheaper. Yes, very good, excellent. Okay. Thank you, Vitania. Good. We have these useful expressions. We can use it in our everyday life. The color is prettier, the design is nicer, the style is more attractive, the material is better. And I will send you these so you can do it in at home in your notebook because we don't have like time 
uh, to complete in the class, but you know this is going to be the homework. Okay? And the other homework, I will also send it in this moment. Okay? The other whole assignment is a, writing a paragraph writing about my favorite clothes or it could be my favorite shoes. What do you like to wear? Write about your favorite clothes and compare them to clothes you don't like as much. We have the example. My favorite clothes are cotton t-shirts and jeans. T-shirts are more comfortable than shirts and ties. And I think jeans are nicer than pants. I know that shoes are more stylish, but so you can write about your favorite clothes or your favorite shoes, but you have to compare and use the comparative adjectives correctly. So you received it in your WhatsApp group. And now can you please tell me what did you learn in this class? What did you learn in this class? What did you like it? What was new? Comparative. Comparative objects. Comparative adjectives. Also using which one? Right? Mm -hmm. How the much? Use of one and ones. Uh -huh. Yes, these. So and that, these and those. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. Now it's time to take the last agenda. So please say perfect over here. Okay. Um, let's see. We start with Alejandro Joven. Present teacher. Ana Elizabeth Garcia. Present. Andrea Sanchez. Present. Betania Lopez. Present teacher. Hugh Braulio Velasco. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Martínez. Present teacher. Claudia María García. Claudia María García, ok. Claudia Yesenia Ebra. Christopher Raúl Peña. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Damaris Isabel Castellano. Damaris. No. No, no puedo ver si está porque tengo la otra página abierta. Pero no, ¿verdad? Ustedes ayúdenme, chicos, si lo ven o no lo ven. Please. No está, teacher. No. Thank you. Eh, Denis Eliseo Gutiérrez, not present. Doribel Arelí, she asked me for permission. Eh, Eli Antonio Sandoval, present. Okay, Emanuel Portales Hernández, mm. not present. No. Eneida Verónica, okay. okay. Eric Daniel Herrera. Present. Fernando Mendoza, Pulunto. Not present. Irma Adriana Segura. Present teacher. Ok, Irma. Thank you. Eh, Irma Zuleima Grande. Present teacher. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño. Present teacher. Okay. Janet Rosibé. Present teacher. Okay, Jennifer Marisol. Present teacher. Jessica Manchang. Present teacher. Jimmy Ramos. Ahí está Jimmy, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes. Sí, ahí está. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Guys, I have an important announcement for you and I will say it in Spanish so that uh, everybody understands very well. <laughs> Por motivos de fuerza mayor, la clase de mañana se va a cancelar. 
pero sí tendremos clase el día miércoles, así que esta semana será la excepción. Mañana no tendremos clase, pero sí el miércoles. Ok, los espero. Ok, teacher. Miércoles jueves. Okay. Okay. okay, teacher. Bye. Thank you, Thank you for your understanding. And I sure. hope you have a good night. Good okay, night. Bye. 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 Bye.